men's 5K. Talk about through the race, your mindset, your, your game plan going into that 5K. Actually, I had an intention of just waiting until the last 3K, but I don't know what. I went over there and then started pushing. So, I don't know. When uh, Cheswick made the move in that back stretch, was that unexpected? Did it come to you as a surprise? Yeah, it came as a surprise, but you know, I knew that it's gonna come that way, so I was, I was expecting that. And knowing you're trying to go, obviously, to win, do a triple, it's not gonna happen, but what's your mindset now going into this mile in 3K, knowing that the triple's off the table? But right now, actually, my intention is just to make sure that even I win even a single one, or, yeah, you know, just get strong, go tomorrow, look at that another day. Yeah. Bobby, can you talk a little bit about the strategy, uh, both in the mile and the 5K, you know, you kind of set the pace, you got to the front and leg. Do you kind of regret that now because, you know, it's tiring you out for the multiple events? Do you think, like, you went too hard in the mile, maybe in the 5 you know? Yeah, I think that actually was the one mistake I made because actually, I don't know, yeah, I was supposed to relax for a while and then, you know, run the last, about three laps, but I don't know, I just got pumped up and start pushing it from the start. You still ran a very quick time in altitude. Uh, you know, it's torn by a 20 second conversion, so I mean, do you feel like you still, it was a good performance, you think? Yeah, I think those are good performance, you know. After all, you know, I did an honest race, and so the best man win. So, you know, I have nothing to regret. So coming back to that, when that 3K tomorrow, you face Cesarek again. What do you think the key is going to be to beat him this time? Actually, tomorrow I think we just gonna wait until the last three laps, whatever he wants, and then we try our best. Good luck in the mile. Larry. Thank you, man. Yeah, good luck, great run. Thank you. Bobby, it seemed like uh, just the mile may have taken something out of you. It seemed like you were laboring a little bit more than you usually do on a piece like this. Did the altitude affect you more than you usually do? Yeah. Just because of the second race? Maybe. You know, yeah, I didn't expect the altitude to affect me this way, but I guess it did. So, yeah. You guys don't really like, train much with altitude, do you? No, we don't, we don't train with altitude. We always train in Tucson and it's low altitude, but it's not that much. Yeah.